Hello everybody, this is Dreamer back to kick off round 5 for Group E. Group E, in my opinion, the most exciting group of the tournament. So many twists and turns in this group. You can't call it, well, except for top spot anyway. <laughs> right, let's have a look at our fight card for this session, shall we? For our main event, it is Arctic Warriors looking to make it three wins in a row as they take on Prism Bowl. But before that, we have MEJE10 going up against Keontae. A win for Emmy, with other results going a specific way, and they will secure top spot today. But before that, we have Jurassic Experts going up against Aaron Plays the Draw King. But at first, we have got Kaijon Cooper going up against bronze medalist from last year, Ma. Ooh, we're in the Alpha Arena. Bet you've got no Alpha Dinosaurs. Right, in the red corner, for Kaijon, we have got Penticeratops. Um, well, at this point last year, Kaijon Cooper was 4-0 in the group stage, but they, they've had a bit more of a mixed bag this time. But a win here, well again, a win for anyone would thrust them up the table. Such how tight this group is. If Kaijon wins, they'll go second. But if Marn wins, they'll also go second. <laughs> right, in the blue corner for Marn, we got Surafaganax. Again, a mixed tournament so far for Man, but I, I think they had that in the group stage last year as well. We'll see how this plays out. Ooh, good start from Pentaceratops there. The galley rush coming in. Oh no, badoosh. Good start from Kaijon. Um, let's have a look what happens here. I thought it would. The Archaeopteryx charm coming into play there because of the Galley Rush. Healing up the Faganax effect. Ooh, but that's another hit on the ball from Pentaceratops. It's a Thunder Bazooka this time. And there'll be no Archaeopteryx charm here. Good start from Kaijon Cooper. Man, neat. Yep, they get a hit so far. Okay, there's one. So Faganax getting on the board. Oh, it's another hit. Man coming back into this match, and it is two hits apiece. But, oh, hello. Nope. It's the tag team's going to come in. That's going to stop damage being dealt to the Faganax. Good tag team use there from Man. Dun. That's a, oh, that's our first tie of the match. And I doubt it'll be our last. Oh, that's a crit. Well, Archaeopteryx Charm won't save him this time. The Faganax is not going to survive this Lightning Spear. It is going to go down, and Kaijon's going to have a 1 0 lead. Oh, no. Right then, coming in next for Marn, we've got Taurosaurus. Very similar to another Taurosaurus in Group C. Dun dun dun. Bow. Mm -hmm. Um, I thought the Sorofagnax would shine more in this t in this team for Marn, but it kind of hasn't. Ooh, but that's a hit from Taurosaurus. The attack boost is going to activate. Or is that attack burst? Okay, it is attack boost. But Taurosaurus's two moves are quite weak compared to its crit. All the power is in that crit. Whereas Pentaceratops is a, a lot more balanced. But that tie does kill Pentaceratops and finish it off. Right, coming in next for... Kaijon, we have got Euoplocephalus. Now, he has type advantage over the Taurosaurus, so that will help. Although, the saving grace for the Taurosaurus is that it only has electric charge, and its crit is a stomping hammer. So, if it gets a crit off, it's still going to do a crap ton of damage. Oops, tie. Oh, here we go. Here comes the big crit. Big hit from Marn incoming. This is going to do damage. The stomping hammer. 
Boosh, boosh, boosh. Whoa, look at that. Okay, the attack booster's maxed up and there's an electric charge coming as well. This Taurus source is going to be stacked in attack power. Ooh, but there's a, crucial, there's a good hit there from Kaijon. And remember, you got the Cephalus, has the type advantage, so it's, all of its moves are going to do damage. Okay, Taurosaurus does get the hit here, I think, with the attack buff. Yep, that is going to finish off the Oplocephalus. Right, coming in third for Kaijon, we got Torvosaurus, Super Torvosaurus. Awaken mode on three. Hmm. Now, I feel if Kaijon it does, is going to win this match, they're going to have to get the Awakened hit, I feel. But for Man, it's a good opportunity here. They can get a Stomping Hammer off. That'll do massive damage to the Torvosaurus. And then maybe, maybe a bonus point win. Which, in a group as tight as this, a bonus point win could be huge. Okay, there's a hit from Torvosaurus. I don't think it's going to be lethal, though. Torvosaurus does have a decent amount of health left. But one hit will do it. And yes, Kaijon making sure that crit does not happen. Okay, Torvosaurus does get the next hit on the board. But yeah, look at that. That that ma that attack power buff. Massive. Right, that's it. Now Torosaurus is maxed up in attack power. Oh, it's a stomping hammer. Massive hit from Mom. Alright, to be honest, I would have loved for him to get it off first. Just to see how much damage it does. But look at that. Kaijon's team stomped into the dirt. And it is Man's victory. A bonus point victory. It's all about the crit. Wow, two massive crits from Taurosaurus. And Man gets the spoils. That was a bit of a stomp, wasn't it? Right, on to our next match. Okie dokie. In the red corner for Jurassic Experts, we have got Ampelosaurus. A win for Jurassic Experts can put, well, a bonus point win will put them joint second with Marn. A win will put them up to third. Well, it'll keep them in third because I think they're third at the minute. <laughs> in the blue corner for Aaron Plays, we have got Mutterborosaurus. A win for Aaron Plays can also put them up to third in the table. I mean, they're an interesting case because you take away all the ties, they, they could be, they could have been sitting on 4-0. At the top with Emmy, JB10. Crazy, isn't it? Such is the nature of their matches. But, you know, their, their matches have been like the most exciting in the tournament, if I've got to be honest. Just when you, you know, just when you think they're mopping it, they get they just get trounced, and then just when you think they're getting trounced, they're coming back into it again at a time. It's incredible. Ooh, but so far, it is Amplosaurus getting the hit. It's a good start from Experts. Ooh, but Mutterborosaurus responds with a crit. I mean, this Mutterborosaurus has really done his work, hasn't it? <laughs> getting loads of hits. Oh, no. Badoosh. Good hit there from Aaron Play. Oh, another hit. Oh, here it comes. Here comes the metal wing. Well, it was a slow... It was a good start from Drastic Experts, but oh, but um, Aaron Plays coming back into it with some good hits of their own. And look at that. Probably taking a very slight lead. Although, let's be honest, you can't really call it a lead. Oh, it's a tie. Mutterborosaurus is tie type, so ties will favour it. Ooh, but that'll favour Jurassic Experts. That's a crit. And that will down Mutterborosaurus and give Experts a 1-0 lead. Right, coming in next for Aaron Plays, we have got Ankylosaurus. I swear, if Aaron Plays gets another draw in this tournament, he's going in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> tournament Hall of Fame. The draw specialist. Incredible, man. But, like I said earlier, you know... In a group as tight as this, those draws can either help him get to the last 32, or, the, or it could, they could cost him. You know, to be honest, I hope it's the former, and it don't cost him. But you just, in a group as tight as this, you just don't know. 
but that is a massive hit from Antlosaurus. That's a Hydro Cutter. God, oh, look at that! Massive hit from Experts. Aaron Plays needs a response and gets one. That's a crept. Okie dokie, coming in next for Jurassic Experts, we have got the Omega Eel Carcaria. The ace of their team, as I said. Hmm. Now, if the Spino comes in third, it will have type disadvantage, so maybe we'll see some Omega armor. It depends on how the match goes. Ooh, that's another pit from Aaron Blade. Kamikaze Tackle. I mean, let's be honest, if you get out of this group, then, you know, that that's an achievement in itself. Because of you how know, so ferocious it is. So I wouldn't be too disheartened if any for any of you guys that don't get out. That's a tie, and that's going to be lethal for Ankylosaurus. And Jurassic Experts is going to retain their lead. But, coming in third for Aaron Plays. Don't you dare count him out. Because it is Spiny Tector. And one Ultimate Water can change this whole match. And it's got type advantage over the Eel Kark. Of course, one Omega Phoenix will end the match in uh, Jurassic Experts' fa favour. So many margins still to be decided in this contest. But let's see how it plays out. Now, I will say, even though the uh, Omega bar has got a bit on it, I think the Dino Tector will fill up quicker. I do think it takes less hits to fill up to get the Dino Tector than it does to get the Omega armor. And that's an Aqua Whip. Look at that. Big hit from Aaron Plays. Oh, that's a tie. Oh, here comes the Eat Eruption. That tie's going to cost Aaron Plays. Hardly seen heat eruption at all in this tournament. Crazy. Okay, there's the uh, extra burn damage effect. But a good hit there from Jurassic Experts. They can drop spines, hate people below half. I think they'll take that, and it looks like they're going to. Ooh, that's a tie. That's another heat eruption. Okay, I think Spiny will survive this with a sliver of health, but this is a very good, very good strategy here from Jurassic Experts. Taking advantage of the times, getting those heat eruptions, leaving Aaron plays on the brink of the defeat. Oh, he killed it! I didn't think he killed it! Those heat eruptions proving costly, and it is Jurassic Experts' victory, and they will go second level with Marn. Right. On to our third match now. Okie dokie, in the red corner for MEJP10, we've got Ulti Rhinoson. <laughs> he got terrain advantage already. <laughs> Not what you want to see if you're Keontae. And to make matters worse, I think the first hit is going to be a crit as well. Yes, it is. Right, in the blue corner for Keontae, we have got Spinosaurus. Keontae second from bottom going into this, but a win here would take them into the top four. Well, temporarily anyway, until the main event. But, well, the way this is... Well, we got a Taurine advantage first. <laughs> and it's going to be a crit, so it's going to be a massive hit from MEJP10 right off the bat. And if you're Keontae, that's it's not... That's precisely what you didn't want. Right. Okay, there's a tie. Oh, that's a big hit from Ulti Rhinus. It's a power drain. Well, we've seen this from MHAE 10 before. We flash back to the first match against Arctic Warriors. Aqua Vortex getting triggered. That could help. Oh, 
didn't get it. And Emmy JP10 in the lead already. And they're going to have type advantage over freaking tank as well. <laughs> wow. Everything that ha could go wrong in this match so far is going wrong for Keonti. Right. Coming in next for Keonti. We got Super Tank. Awaken Mode on 4. And, well. It'll do well to survive to the Awaken Mode, to be honest. Especially if Ulti Rhinus gets crits. But if it can get some hits, it could survive and get to the Awaken Mode. And get back in this contest. Okay, there's a crit. It's a spike arrows. It will do a bit of damage. And like I said, if as long as he if he can survive to the awakened mode, you know they can get right back in this contest. The tie. Oh, that's a power drain and a light recovery to come as well going to heal up most of the health that the spike arrows took away. Press the buttons. <laughs> Poor Kion, he can't catch a break in this match so far. Okay, that's a tie. Another tie. A third tie. Oh, is that hit going to be lethal? Oh, it's not. And the Crystal Crusher has been triggered. Right, all he needs is a hit here. A tie or a hit. And he'll, get, and he'll have a chance for an Awakened hit. Okay, there's a hit. It will, you will get the chance for the Awakened mode. Okay, Earth Barrier is useless here because the tank is on like stupidly low health, but at least he's got to the Awaken mode. Now, can he get a hit here and take out this ulti Rhinus? Oh, uh, it's a tie. It did damage, but he needed a hit there. And it's 2 0 to MEJP10. Right, coming in third for Keonte, we got a T Rex. It's God Deathfire, so let's not count Keontae out yet. It's God Deathfire, Murph. I know all too well how Deathfire can swing a match 180. <laughs> the tie. Okay, Light Recovery is also gone as well. It won't activate, so a hit will finish off Ulti Rhinus. And it can't heal. But it can get off another power drain. <sighs> Which means it's going to survive another tie. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> oh, I can't think. Can I, can I just say? I am so sorry for this match. Like, honestly, I am so sorry. Right, there you go. You're not getting free nilled at least. You get the death fire off, but yeah. It's a waste. <laughs> right, coming in next for MEJP10, we have got you up the Cephalus. Can MEJP10 get the bonus point win? And a bonus point win here would pretty much assure them top spot. Even with uh, Marn and Jurassic Experts getting bonus point wins, Emmy won't be caught. Right, you know, you, they can get another death fire off, but, you know, the odds are it's pretty low. Okay, here's a hit. Oh, come on, just put the poor sap out of his misery. And yeah, no death fire. An elemental power as well to add insult to injury. Oh, come on, make this be a crit. Come on, be a crit. <laughs> and yep, there it is. Wow. Everything that could have gone wrong for Keontae went wrong for Keontae. 
and it is MEJP 10's victory and they go 5-0 in this tournament. As for Keontae, well, look, it, it just all went wrong. <laughs> but at least you took out the ulti Rhinus, unlike someone else. Now then, on to our main event of this session, which should be an important one. Right, in the red corner for Arctic Warriors, we've got Kentrosaurus. Arctic Warriors currently sit in fourth in this group. And I think the first three results have definitely gone their way. And a win here would open up a four, at least a four-point gap on Aaron Plays, who currently sits in fifth. Right, in the blue corner for Prison Bow. We have Paris Dino Tech with terrain advantage. That could be key in this matchup. Which means this Paris will get the first hit. It will be a crit as well. So not good if you're Arctic Warrior. So not only have you got the terrain advantage to worry about, now you've got type disadvantage to worry about. This this is a really bad matchup for Arctic Warriors. Let's be let's be frank. This is a bad matchup. Mega Raptor going up against the Yang Chungasaurus is a bad matchup. And with the terrain advantage as well. Arctic Warriors is going to need a lot to go their way to get the win here. Now, the saving grace is that it is, this thing is heroic type. So, so that crit will hit hard. Because Quake Saber only gets triggered after a tie. And that's a good hit there. Emerald Garden getting triggered, of course. <laughs> Earth Barrier. Okay, Earth Barrier. If it can get a tie here, get rid of this Emerald Garden. Will be helpful. Okay, that's, that's good for Arctic, I think. A tie. It removes the Emerald Garden and it keeps the Earth Barrier in play. And well, that Earth Barrier is going to come in handy here because that's a super duper impact. Look, this is a massive match in this group. This is huge. Because, like I said, if Arctic wins, they go four clear and fifth. And, and do open up a gap between themselves and the bottom four. But if Prison Bow wins. They would go above Arctic Warriors into fourth. Well, no surprise, let's be honest. Kendrosaurus, it put up a decent fight. But it does go down. Now, the worry for Arctic Warriors is that Dino Tactor. Even with type advantage, that ultimate leaf could one-shot this Mega Raptor. So Arctic has to be wary of that. But coming in next for him, we've got Mega Raptor. But again, I think this Mega Raptor has so much attack. I think one hit from either of his moves should spell lethal for Paris. Okay, maybe not. That's a tie. That's going to fill up the Dino Tector. That's not good. Dino Tector. Um. Bum, 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 bum. Dun, 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 dun. Wow, this could be a big moment in the match here. The tie. Ooh, Arctic Warriors getting a hit. Is this lethal? It's biting wind. It's going to have the type advantage bonus as well. Arctic needs this to be lethal. Oh, it's not. Okay, Prison Bow still has a chance to get an ultimate leaf. And doesn't get it. A tie. Arctic Warriors surviving big time. Right, coming in next for Prison Bow, we've got Yang Chun the Source. Like I said, if Arctic Warriors is going to win this match, they need a lot of things to go their way. Alright, the terrain advantage didn't go their way, but that certainly did. Now they need. Now they got to get past this Yang Chun the Source. For Prison Bow. It's definitely an opportunity wasted. Got to get that dying. Got to get that ultimate leaf off. Well, they make up for it there with a crit, and they still have a lead. Okay, there's a bite in wind. That's probably best case scenario there for Prison Bell. It, it is Mega Raptor's weakest move at this point. Still gonna do some damage though, because Mega Raptor is. Pretty high. Okay, that's not that much damage. And it triggers the Magma Blaster. 
Ooh, that's another hit from Yangchungosaurus. No flare sword, though. Hmm, could that be costly? I think it might. That's a hurricane beat. Now, despite the tight disadvantage, this is still going to do a lot of damage. Much more than the bite and wind did. Badoosh. And it also removes the hurricane beat as well, so... Yeah, this hit will do us good damage as well. Good hit from Arctic Warriors, despite the tight disadvantage. We're level pecking. But it is Prism Bow retaining that slight, slight advantage. Right, coming in third for Arctic Warriors, we have got Sukamimus. Well, I, I would be, if I'm honest, I think if you're Arctic Warriors, you take this scenario. Yangchungasaurus, a tie away from being killed. You're down to Sukamimus. I think it could have been a lot, lot worse. You know, Ultimate Leaf could have happened. It, this match could be over already. But they got it. You know, they're not far behind at all. And well, there's a hit. And after everything said and done, after all the type disadvantages, terrain advantages, Dino Tector stuff, we are level pecking. Right, coming in food for Prismbo, we've got Lexovasaurus. Well, if Prismbo doesn't win this match, again, you have to look at the Dino Tector. No ultimate leaf. That could be what costs them you. And there's a hit and Arctic Warriors, I think, for the first time in this match, going into the lead. But Lexovasaurus, one big crit can change this match. And well, the Quake Saber's been triggered now, courtesy of that tie. Oh, Arctic Warriors, have they turned the screw right when it matters most? A tie will do it, it's in their hands. Ooh. Now, this could change everything. This is a Quake Saber. And Lexovasaurus hits really hard. This could be this could be a big, big moment. Look at that! An Earth Barrier! Look at this! This could this is it. It's all down to this. Oh, it's a tie! I think it's gonna be a tie! Yes it is! The Sukamimus goes down, the Lexovasaurus goes down, and this main event is ending in a draw. And to be honest, that's probably a bad result for both of them. And there's no real winner here. <laughs> yeah, I think the real winners out of that matchup are everyone else in this group. A draw. Wow. Another draw in this crazy, crazy, crazy mental group. Um, I think if you're Arctic Warriors, you probably take that, to be honest. You still stay in the top four. You'd take a draw. Especially given how bad this matchup was for them. But Prismbo, 100% missed opportunity. Right, let's look at the table. We can end the session. Right, that's Group E at the minute. MEJP10 already safely through to the last 32 round, quite convincingly. Then we have Experts above Marn. By, by the uh, virtue of the head-to-head, -head, Marn in third. Arctic Warriors clinging on to fourth there on eight points after that draw. Aaron plays staying on six points in fifth. Prism Bow climbing up to six by virtue of the... Well, they they have a better record than these two overall. And they also have the head-to-head -head over Kaijon, but they haven't played Keontae ne yet. And Kaijon has the head-to-head the -head over Keontae as well and a better record. So by that virtue, Ki Kaijon seventh, Keontae eighth. But yeah, still all to play for. This, this group has been absolutely incredible. Really has. <laughs> So yeah, that's going to end this session here, so I hope you enjoyed, and until next time, ta-ta!